Hello everyone. Sorry if the robotic voice startled you. I will explain why I'm using an text-to-speech program to communicate with you guys instead of just using my regular voice in a few seconds. But anyways, if you haven't realized I'm starting a third series relating to Paleocraft Park. This series, at least with the building style, is inspired by the prehistoric aquarium that Jake from the Paleocast Gaming Network YouTube channel is currently working on in Minecraft. Seriously you guys should go watch that series, it is fantastic. And I believe I heard Jake say at one point that he is unsure about how he will build the enclosures for the larger creatures, once he gets to them such as Tyrannosaurus or Brachiosaurus. So Jake if you're watching this feel free to take a few ideas from this series. But anyways back to what I was saying. The reason why I'm starting a third Paleocraft Park series is because I was already feeling burned out on the last one, most likely because I was trying to build in the same style as the first Paleocraft Park, so it felt like I was basically just adding on to the first one that I was already extremely burned out on due to working on the original Paleocraft Park for around a year and a half, so I'm hoping that building in a new style will motivate me well into the series before I start to get burned out again. And I'm also hoping that changing the name of the series from Paleocraft Park to Mesozoic Park will hopefully make me not associate this series as much as the last one with Paleocraft Park. Because I feel like if I associate this series with Paleocraft Park then I will get burned out. Quicker. So sorry to those of you that were enjoying the last series but I honestly just need to do whatever it takes to make this into a series I will hopefully have a better chance at finishing. And another reason why I'm making this third series is because I want to make a prehistoric zoo building series that is calming, that people can watch early in the morning or late into the night to calm themselves down or whenever you want to watch it I guess. The reason I want to do that is because I usually have a couple minuets to myself before I have to get on the bus in the mornings to go to school, and during that time I usually watch the prehistoric aquarium series because, one I like prehistoric creatures, and two the prehistoric aquarium series has this extremely inviting and calming atmosphere to me that helps me calm down in the morning before I have to go to school, but when I went searching for more series like prehistoric aquarium I wasn't able to find any that were as inviting and calming as prehistoric aquarium was so I hope this series will accomplish that, and I'm talking with this specific text to speech voice because I find this voice calming for some reason. And another thing I want to tell you guys about this series is that it will be set up so you can see prehistoric creatures in order of when they lived, so it's like you're traveling through time. So for example the Triassic animals are at the beginning and the Cretaceous animals are at the end. And just like the last series I'm trying to make these environments as accurate as I can possibly make them. And this time I'm also researching what prehistoric plants are in the environments whenever I can as well. For example in this episode the sum of the plants I try my best to build are Jinkarites trees, Erocarioxalan trees, cicad like plants, Clodophobius, and Neocalamites. Alright I will leave you to watch me build and listen to the calming music. And I will meet back up with you when I give the information about the enclosure.
Welcome to the Ishigwa Lasto Formation, approximately 231.7 to 225 million years ago, during the Triassic time period in Argentina. Some of the creatures that call the Ishigwa Lasto Formation home are Sorosuchus, Silosuchus, Hyperadapodon, and the creature you see before you, Hararosaurus. Hararosaurus is an early dinosaur, but just to inform you there is some controversy on whether or not Hararosaurus is a dinosaur or not, but if Hararosaurus is indeed a dinosaur, Hararosaurus was one of the first dinosaurs to get close to the title of Apex Predator, it only being beaten out by the huge Pseudosuchian, Sorosuchus, in its environment. Hararosaurus was an carnivorous dinosaur that grew to be about 10 feet in length and is a part of the family Herorosauridae in which Herorosaurus is the namesake of the family of dinosaurs housing dinosaurs such as Nathavorax, Sanduansaurus, and Herorosaurus itself.